Here we are going to solve this uh, trigonometric equation. If you want to solve a trigonometric equation, you are not supposed to have more than a single trigonometric ratio. So you have to find a way to convert them into a single trigonometric ratio. If you divide everything by cos of this and bring the 3 here, you'll have sine 2x minus 15 degree over cos 2x minus 15 degree equals 1 over 3. So this can be written as tan 2x minus 15 degree equals 1 over 3. And it comes under harder trigonometric equations because the x is multiplied by 2 and you have negative 15. So you multiply the limits by 2. You get negative 190 less than 2x less than 180. So if you look at your textbook, they want you to subtract 15 from the limits also, but usually that's not the method I teach. I want to keep the limits as some neat values. So I'm not going to add 15 to the limits. Now find the principal value. Use your calculator in degree mode. So 2x minus 15 degree equals tan inverse of 1 over 3. They want the answer in one decimal place, so I'm going to take it as one decimal place, 18.4 degree. That's the principal value. Now draw the ASTC diagram. ASTC. And our limit is negative 180 and positive 180. So you need to look for a quadrant where tan theta is positive. Tan theta will be positive here and here. So here the angle is theta. Here it will be, we are talking about negative limit. So it's minus 180. So this will be minus 180 plus theta. So our answer will be 2x minus 15 degree is the principal value. Come on minus 180 plus the principal value. That's not the final solution. You need to bring 15 here, add 15 to both the, the solutions and divide by 2. So you will get x. So the first value is 16.7 degree and the second value is negative 73.3 degree. You can use textbook method or this method. But if you want to use this method, if you have plus here, let's say you have 2x plus 15, you are going to subtract 15 from this value and divide by 2. So in that case, I want you to take one extra value. For example, if you take 0 to 180, not only consider this, go out of the limit and take one extra value. So you'll have 180 plus theta when you consider positive. You will have one more solution here, 180 plus theta. And when you subtract 15 and divide by 2, you will get final answers, right? Then compare the answers with your original limit. And if any of these final values falls off the limit, the, this original limit, you can ignore them. The first step to solving a trigonometric equation is converting them into a single trigonometric function. You are not supposed to have sine and cos together. So I'm going to replace sine square by using the trigonometric identity sine square plus cos square equals 1. I'm going to write it as sine square is 1 minus cos square. Now expand this. 4 minus 4 cos square theta plus 8 cos theta minus 3 is 0. And simplify, you'll get minus 4 cos square plus 8 cos theta, 4 minus 3, 1 equals 0. Multiply everything by negative 1. So you'll have 4 cos square theta minus 8 cos theta minus 1 is 0. It's a look, it looks like a quadratic equation. Solve this quadratic equation, you will get two values. Find the two values now. You get 2 plus square root of 5 over 2. 
2 minus square root of 5 over 2. This value is basically 2.111 something. But cos theta, if you look at the cosine curve, the upper limit will be 1, lower limit will be minus 1. So cos will not take this value. So here there is no solution. Even if you try to find cos inverse of this, you will get a math error. This value is smaller than 1. So you can solve this equation within the limit. 0 to 2 pi. So the first step, find the principal value. Theta is cos inverse of 2 minus root 5 divided by 2. Use radians more. So when you find the principal value, if it is a negative number, it is a negative number. Leave the negative sign. Just take the positive number. So your principal value will be 1.5. They, they want the answer to three significant figures. So take 4.5. Now draw the ASTC diagram. Look at our limit, it's 0 to 2 pi, one whole circle. Our cos theta will be negative, this value is negative. Cos will be negative here and here. So this is one pi minus theta. This will be pi plus theta. So our answer will be pi minus 1.45, pi plus 1.45. 1.69 radians, 4.59 radians. That's the solution. So remember this, whenever you come across a trigonometric function, the first step to solve this trigonometric equation is converting them to a single trigonometric function and then solve it.